to minimize uh, their drug usage even when they come to you voluntarily, correct? Correct. Those were your words? Correct. Okay. And, and so there's no question pending, okay. May and I, so you want to explain that? I want to extrapolate on that for you, if I may. Um, n now it's real clear to you and you want to extrapolate? No. I stopped you in the middle because I liked what you said and I want to extrapolate on those exact words. Embellish, undervalue, misrepresent. They tell me what they're using, always. But they don't tell me the precise amounts. That's what I meant by my statement to Mr. Chernoff. They, in how long have you been doing this? 20, 23 years. And in every single one, your word is always, they tell you exactly what drug they're using. That's your word, not my word. No, your word was always. They tell me the drugs that they used. They always. Most of the time, because they're, most of what the you time. have to understand, sir, is care is voluntary. In addition, <clears throat> in addition, when a doctor and a patient meet, they develop through the interview, through the conversation, a therapeutic relationship. And I'll talk about doctor-patient relationship, but is it always or most of the time now? Most of the time, most almost the time. always, pretty much every time if you're a good interviewer okay. and ask the right questions and know the names of all the drugs you get all the information always most of the time some of the time is that your answer those are your words no i'm asking you what were the objections if you have the last answer i'm asking you ask a specific question and i'll give you a specific answer is it always most of the time and some of the time is that your answer in my extensive experience in my interviewing i get the answers almost all of the time okay so almost all of the time correct not always almost all of the time Now you, where, where do you work as an addiction specialist? I work at a, a number, I work in my office <coughs> first and foremost, and I, I've worked at hospital-based facilities. I was co-director of a hospital-based facility for a period of time. Where do you currently work as an addiction specialist? It keeps interrupting my answers. My answer again is, in the past I've worked at hospital-based facilities. I'm giving you the broad spectrum. Sir, Mr. Chernoff can ask you questions as well. You, I'm asking you, where do you currently work as an addiction specialist? My office and a number of primary treatment facilities that are confidential. That are confidential? Correct. Did you tell Mr. Chernoff these confidential locations? I did not. Why are they confidential? The, the co clients there are confidential. The facilities would like to remain confidential. And so I'm respecting that. Well, I'm not asking about any patients or client names or anything of that nature. I, I'm trying to flesh out your experience, and I'd like to know where you currently work as an addiction specialist other than your own office.